your coloring sheet, you have your step-by-step. -step. Um, so you, if you're gonna draw it with me, go ahead and make sure you've got your paper. Um, obviously it needs to be vertical, which is top to bottom. And pick your drawing supply, depending on how you're gonna color it. You've gotta remember, um, Crayola will bleed, so you can't use any watercolor with it. But you can use other markers. So I'm gonna go with my Sharpie today. And you've got to make sure when you're looking at this step by step, you don't draw the shape all the way on the side of my paper over here. Technically, this is, should be drawn um, in the middle, the top middle part of our paper. So that's going to be the top of the head. So I'm going to come down some and I'm going to start. with a half circle and I'm going to extend it down some so it's kind of like an upside down J or a hook um, the bill or the beak of a flamingo is kind of curved so once you get that then you're gonna come up some do not connect these two this is the top of the head and the beak okay so once you've got your J with a another J it's like two J's put together we're gonna come back down the side of the head and the neck and flamingos have a rather curvy long neck. Now again, you want to make sure you have room for the body. My feet may not go all the way to the um, bottom. I may not have enough room by now, but then you're going to do the same thing following the curve of that neck. So it's kind of like a, a big hook. Okay, so once we've got, we're going to add the body. And the body is um, kind of comes to a point at the end. So once I draw the top, then I'm going to come around and draw the bottom. So again, it does come to a point. So it doesn't look like a weird shape. We're going to go ahead and finish it off. So or the face. So in between, I'm going to go ahead and curve the line off so it becomes the beak and. Go ahead and color this in, or whatever you have. Color the beak in, just so it's black. There's this little line that comes up and around there. That's not the eye. And then off the back of that is where you're going to draw a circle for your eye. And then go ahead and the black part of your eye and color that in. Okay, so in his body or her. There's a separation where the wing kind of folds. Now again, the legs, my legs are gonna be a little bit shorter than they're supposed to, so I can show you what to do. Okay, so the first leg, that is the straight leg. So I'm just gonna draw a straight line. And then off, there's a little kneecap. I forgot to add that. And in the back, the leg is going to be a straight line, parallel lines, and then I'm going to make like a triangle foot. Have you ever seen a flamingo stand? They've got one leg when they're resting, I think, um, bent. So it's going to be kind of a zigzag. So we're going to start same place under here. We're going to go away from that foot, and we're going to come towards that foot and touch it. And then we're going to go back away. So we're going to follow that line. And right where this line curves, this is where his knee is going to go. So a parallel line. And then we're going to stop. Make his little knee. Another parallel line going the other way. Don't connect it. And then this is technically the triangle part that you have here. I just realized one leg's kind of skinny and one leg's kind of fat. So... I have to make mine a little bit fatter. There we go. So now that you've got your flamingo drawn, go ahead and get your supplies ready to add your color. Um, I'm gonna actually, I'm actually gonna use colored pencils today. So I'm gonna get pink for the flamingo. I've already got black. I think his legs are like a. I'm gonna do black. If you bother them, they will bother you. Yes. I'm gonna sharpen mine. There we go. So this little part right here is going to stay white, but 
the um, rest of your flamingo. Okay, so I have finished coloring in my flamingo. I did add a darker um, pinkish color just to make the wing look a little bit different. If you want to add maybe where the flamingo's habitat is, feel free to add the background um, of where you might find a flamingo. So make sure that you post your flamingos on our either HES Facebook page or on the HES Instagram, or you can send it through Dojo so I can take a look out of it. So I hope you enjoy drawing the flamingo with me. Can't wait to see your flamingos.